Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Andrews Collectibles here with another toy review video slash pickup video. And this, for today's video, you might be looking at these glasses saying, Oh my God, I remember those glasses. I drank my chocolate milk or my Yoohoo out of those glasses. Well, guess what? So did I. And I found these the other day out thrifting at Value Village in Leamington, Ontario. And I immediately was walking down the, walking down the hall with my daughter and I said, Are you serious? Are those those glasses from my childhood. Sure enough, these are the WWF 1990, if you can see that on the, on the glass there, 1990 Titan Sports Wrestling Drinking Glasses. So I was lucky enough to grab Brutus and Hulk uh, for $2.99. There's $2.99 for both of them. So I picked them up. And uh, as I'm looking at the glasses at the store, there was no real signs of wear on them. I mean, Hulk's got a little mark there. That'll come off. But He's looking good, mullet and mustache intact, brother. And then the back is good too. None like these don't look like they've been through too many dishwashers or stuff like that. Must have been hand washed, or they just were displayed because I come across a lot of vintage glasses. I do collect them. Uh, if you guys watch the Star Wars glass reviews, um, then you'd know. But I've come across these, and uh, there was an Ultimate Warrior one. There was I think there was like a Big John Stud. There was another one. Uh, Coco Beware, that sort of thing. They kept these coming out in the in the 80s and 90s. WWF was big on the merchandise glasses at that time. And uh, normally when I find glasses like this, I would find some obscure wrestlers. I mean, Brutus is kind of obscure, but he, he goes along with Hulk. You know, Hulk and Brutus were tight back in the day. So to have Brutus and Hulk in the same pull was really, really good for me. And the fact that when I find glasses like this, oftentimes they're discolored, they've got scratches, you know, they've been not taken care of. They've got stains. They're chipped. And these aren't these aren't in bad shape at all. So I'm really, really excited to have picked these up. And uh, and it really brought me back. I think I was probably eight when, eight, yeah, eight when these came out. And uh, the fact that they're no, not WWE. So, so if you're a younger person watching this video, you're like, what is WWF? You mean like the, the World Wildlife Fund? No, WWF was WWE before they had to change their name. So... That being said, this is just a quick video. Got Brutus here. They both had they both had pretty strong mullets back in the day. I know Brutus did too. You can't see his on here. Um, but Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Hulk Hogan. Wish I could get the Macho Man one too. If uh, if anyone has that, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Is it as nice as the one, these ones? Which one out of these two is your favorite? I feel like Brutus has got a pretty good, pretty good uh pose there with the scissors, if you remember that. And Hulk's ripping the shirt off. So I'm not sure which one's my favorite either. I'm kind of partial to Brutus because I think he's more obscure. Whereas like everybody likes Hulk. And obviously I love Hulk Hogan, but I, I, I can appreciate Brutus. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe below. Check out my other vids. There's 110 more of them behind this. So I need those views. I need those minutes watched, those hours watched. If somebody wants to watch 4,000 hours of my videos in the next month, that would be sweet. Just leave it. Leave my channel running on loop. I don't care. Whatever you got to do. Anyways, thanks for watching my videos. Hope you guys enjoy my content. Check out my other stuff. Thanks. Bye.